Just got done reading the instructions for Halo 2600. Yes, that's Halo for the Atari 2600. This is a newly developed game, also known as Homebrews, for the Atari 2600 system. If you want to see other Homebrews and what they are all about, you can visit AtariAge.com or you can visit my channel and see other homebrews that I review and show you gameplay. I've been having a great time doing this. I have another video where I mention that on average, these homebrew games are better than most of the classic games. They're just super good, super passionate people that have been developing them and they got a good support community to make them even better. When I saw Halo 2600, I had to get this. Being a fan of the original Halo for the Xbox, I wanna see what Master Chief will be like on the Atari 2600. I'm super excited about jumping into this one. Obviously, it's not gonna be a 3D shooter. You do walk around from room to room just like you would in Halo uh, and you can find different items such as uh, keys, pistols, sniper rifle, uh, shield, speed boots, and all the other bad guys that you're going to run into. This will be a super fun one to jump into. If you like watching these homebrew reviews and gameplay videos, uh, please give me a subscribe, hit the bell. It will truly help out a lot. Let me know that you like this, you want me to keep making them, because I'm having a really good time making them, and hopefully they prove useful to somebody, and I'll keep going on. So please subscribe and let me know that you're giving this a thumbs up. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, and I will put a link uh, below in the notes here, is if you're looking to get into the Atari 2600 homebrew community, one of the best resources I found was the Atari 2600 homebrew group page on Facebook. And again, I'll put the that link right below for you so you can access that directly, join the group, and there's a lot of good dialogue. Everybody's really cool there. Nobody's, nobody's being a jerk like in typical Facebook action. It's a really good group. Let's jump into Halo 2600. All right, folks, I just want to remind everybody every time we do a homebrew, uh, I jump into it for the first time with you. So I'm not an advanced player. This is not a walkthrough. This is just exploring and discovering new games. We're going to figure out this together. It's an adventure. So let's just fire it up and see what we think about this game. Halo 2600. Let's go. Here we are, Master Chief. We seem to be in one of the forest regions of Halo. Oh, and there's a gun. The walls kind of remind me of adventure. The walking and the gun reminds me of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and we will shoot that guy. Shot him dead. Oh, a shield. Now, when we have a shield, it will only protect us one time. Whoa! Lost my shield. What is this? Can't go in there. Maybe I can if I find a key. Oh, there's a key. And the bad guy. I can only shoot side to side. They can shoot up, down, diagonal, it looks like. So that's not fair, but... Oh, look at that. This wall has been opened. Those are turrets, they'll, oh no, that, that's uh, alien technology. You touch that, you're dead. Yeah, pretty cool little shooter for an Atari 2600 game. Gotcha. So, like Halo, the point of this game is to, oh, got ganged up on. So like Halo, the point of this game is to rid the uh, sectors or the rooms of the Covenant, get to the boss, defeat the boss. There's too many of them. Whoa. Oh, they regenerate too. So you get the row and it takes care of all of them. That's pretty cool. Ooh, sniper rifle. And I get the shield. Awesome. 
These levels are not randomly generated, so if you remember where they are, uh, you can come back and get them. Again, this is our first time, so we're just exploring here. Digging the game totally. I'm having fun. Now the sniper is a little bit faster, so that's cool. Another shield. Cool. It's good. I'm impressed. 2600 games. Great. It's getting super stressful because I don't have a shield. I'm going to run. This will progressively get harder. You know, I'm thinking this is a pretty good reimagined port of Halo for the Atari 2600. I don't know where I left off, but I'm on my last dude. I'm just going to plow through here. Ah! Say, I'm beginning to get the hang of how the uh, how the enemies, the Covenant, are acting, so I'll be able to get better and better. But hopefully you can see that this is actually pretty kind of cool. If this was available in 1982, I bet everybody would be talking about this one. I'm going to go down this time. No, I'm not, because that gun was up there. You know, really imagine if this did come out in... 1982. Look at little Master Chief's feet. So we remember this wall, so the key's right down here. That will help us in future games. We know exactly where we need to be going. Well, at least I hope this is the right way. Uh, the instruction manual comes with a little grid on the back that shows uh, the colors of levels so you can kind of keep track of where items are. So you can take note, come back and uh, I remember this room. Take note and come back and get the items you need. Not waste time in room. Oh, oh, oh controller stuck a little bit there. Not the game's fault, it's probably I am using a classic controller from the 1700s. So it's probably not the most responsive. Yeah, I like the sniper rifle watch that much faster. Oh, yeah. If you hold your finger down on the button, it does keep firing. I don't want to touch that. See how good I'm getting? Pretty cool. You know, you can kind of avoid them. But, I guess it's less stress to, uh, get rid of them. If you saw my mouse on the screen, sorry about that. I am playing on Stella, the emulator, so I can just record this in a high-resolution format. Anyway, 
Went through a couple games there. Of course, we're not going to make it to the boss on this game. We just want to explore, see how fun this was. And I would say I'm pretty impressed. This is highly recommended. If you want to jump into homebrews, uh, I would say this will be in my top ten that you have to try. Super fun. Great little concept of making Halo for the Atari 2600. Kind of Halo reimagined with the limitations of the device. If uh, if you don't know the limitations, the uh, developer for the game, who is Ed Fries, said that you know it, it's a super challenging system to work on. So it only has 128 bytes of RAM for variables and 4K bytes of ROM space to fit the entire game and the graphics in. So it's super challenging to keep this functional with such limited space. But anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more of them, please subscribe. It'll help me a lot. It will let me know that you're enjoying these, and I'll just keep making them because I'm having a blast making them, and it prompts me to keep buying more homebrews, which is super cool. I'm just really digging these homebrews. Um, you can buy the homebrews at atariage.com, and until the next homebrew, I'll probably be putting out one or two of these every week, so keep checking back. We'll catch you on the next video.